Good afternoon, everybody from International Drive. We're down by Deezerland or Deserland. It's been a minute since we've been here. I was honestly curious how many people were still coming out to Deserland. I think the last time I was here was about a year ago. Kind of solo tour through the car section again. But we figured it was kind of a perfect day to visit because summer is coming. The rain is actually coming today. And this is a good place to avoid the rain in the summer or other months when you're visiting Florida. And the signs on the door say admission free. It is free. It's free to get in and let's walk around. The attractions all kind of cost a little bit of money, but they do have some eye candy out here for you to peruse. The James Bond bar in full effect now. Not gonna lie, this is actually pretty impressive. And for free 99, you can feast your eyes on this tank from Goldeneye from 1995. Although I'll say the Bond exhibit actually is really phenomenal. I think this is the largest exhibit of Bond cars and memorabilia and paraphernalia anywhere. Some more Bond goodness. We have this big arcade over here as well. Play for tickets. Some tuna cars. Paint on this is really phenomenal. We have a little area here for events. Right outside of that, cars from the Flintstones movie, and in the background, a little Back to the Future DeLorean. I like this. Do not remove Bedrock Police Department. Yabba dabba doo. All of these vehicles, of course, from the Flintstones movie. The Thunderfoam Arena. And bumper cars. Got like a bouncy house or a jump area over here. And your merry-go-round. Well, I've seen this before, but we've never seen it running. Famous picture of Nixon. Over the line, dude. Before we head into the auto museum and continue taking a look around, but you have some sneak peeks of the stuff that's inside there. Since the last time that we were here, they've added this corner burger place. This used to be a pizza place in the mall heyday. Here's an idea of what they're offering burger-wise. You also got coffee. The restaurants are outside of where the go-kart area is. Pretty big indoor go-kart truck. We've done this before. And then we've got ice cream and burritos and pizza. They've added a rage room since the last time that we're here, although it's closed today. But don't worry, they're open tomorrow. So you can normally pay to smash stuff as seen on TV, or you could smash a TV. But the newest place that they have added here is Milk House of Cereal. Literally five bucks, all you can eat cereal all day. Choose your cereal, choose your milk. And here it is. They'll pour your cereal for you. I want Spock cereal. Oh no, crunchy logs. So looks like the options. You can choose topics for your cereal, three free, each additional a dollar, including sprinkles. They have different types of milks. Mary got almond milk. I went regular. And cookie crisp with more chocolate chips. The Squatch Dirty Soda. What exactly is Dirty Soda? We may never know. The cereal was cool. Great idea. Place is packed. You have the putting place over here. A little mini golf, glow in the dark. So we've done this before. We're not gonna do mini golf today. But the pinball place is open. Perhaps we'll give this a whirl. Classic pinball. And I love that they still have this on display because you can see all the guts in there. Look at all of those wires that somebody had to figure out in order to just play pinball. Oh, coming soon. Tattoo Barber Spa. You can do axe throwing here. And we've got Alfred E. Newman. <laughs> if you're ever looking to buy a VW bus, you can buy one right here. Fully restored. I always have a soft spot in my heart for V-dubs. The day that my dad bought a bug, Beetle, the very day that night it got stolen in front of the house. Flushing Queens, everybody. 
Look at this. This is also for sale in here. 1986 V Dubs camper. Look at that. You got a sink in there. Refrigerator down there. Little table. Wow. A little bed for tiny people. No, this looks like it collapses <laughs> and it goes together. No, it's just for Hasbro. And of course, you still have Rocket Fizz here with soda and classic candy. On display out here, Michael Myers. Welcome to Haddonfield. Look at the roof, the hood. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Wow. Well, we are gonna head into the museum. See if there's anything new. Can we rock? What's up, Doc? James Dean, Marilyn, Elvis. This is the longest car in the world. I want to see this car running. So by the way, it looks like it's got like duct tape on the side holding it together. Whoa, look at this. I guess you can hit some golf balls off that. And past the hot tub and the helicopter pad back here. You could sit 75 people in here. Or just drive around solo. 12 inches to the gallon. This is the inside of this guy. Desertland has the largest collection of Vespas, I think, in the world. Let's go take a spin around. It's the Fern Hollow Express. That's really awesome. You can follow along here. This is the 20s into the 30s. The Bonnie and Clyde mobile. I want to get my hair cut in one of those little boats. <laughs> it's Tucker's car of tomorrow. And you have a car from the Grinch and the Green Hornet. Christine. Oh, it's very weird. They've kind of sectioned off different things here. So the cars of the Stars exhibit used to be through there. But now, kind of boxed off. So you got Dukes of Hazard, got a General Lee that's a little banged up. Yeah. At least a little realism to it. Inside is a little worse for wear here. And you got the Jeep and Roscoe's sheriff car here. <laughs> kew, 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 kew. Daisy's hiding off back there. She got some random man in the Jeep. Dusenbergs. Can you imagine going down I-4 today and having this thing roll up next to you? <laughs> to the Israel section. And there he is, Mr. Michael Dezer. I believe he is the largest car collection in the world. Get that man a pair of shoes. France. We come from France. Is that how people dress in France? <laughs> Cars are impressive. I don't think I could fit in any of them. No. Minis. This guy's from 2001. Oh, this These are like cars for pets. I mean, how does anyone fit in that thing? I mean, it's like a little baby gorilla. And he's a Packers fan. Pinstriping. That's pretty cool. I think something's like living in these pipes or in the ceiling here, because every time that we move, there's a noise up there. This is really cool. Planet Euro. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Disco, disco. This is it. The Pope. He is here. This is a 2000 Beetle. 
Whoa, what is happening in here? What happens at Deserland stays at Deserland. So many Volkswagens. Wow. Here's a Geigel Mobile, the T700. And the Amphicar. I think when they originally displayed this, they may have had it facing this way. We have like the little propellers down here. It's pretty cool. You can take a ride in one of these things at Disney Springs. And if you're gonna get a Volkswagen, why not get a convertible? That's pretty. Literally the best section here, and why I would pay to come here every year, is to see the Batman collection that they have on display. Absolutely phenomenal. Are you ready? Let's take a look inside. Mary's trying to hide behind the wall. <laughs> 1989 Batmobile. Look at that awesomeness. And you have 95 Batman Forever. The Bat Boat and the Joker dancing with the devil in the pale moonlight. 66 Batmobile and the Bat Cave Catwoman. You can get a better look at the 66 Batmobile on this play here. But this fits perfect with Adam West over there and the Bat Cycle. Get a good look at the Bat Cycle. I think that they used to have two of them. I don't know if they still do. It is always odd to me that they have duplicates of things in here, including the Batmobiles. And you can see another Batmobile here while it's kind of over there too. And here is another Bat Cycle. And oh my God, what a perfect song. Oswald Cobblepot for Mayor. I want that Bat Bicycle back there too. All kinds of good collectibles in here. Vicky Vale. Mary and I just watched these movies over again last weekend to prepare for the flash. It's the bat phone. There he is, kinda. Gotham Police Department. The Joker's the passenger. But it appears that he has escaped. And we'll keep moving on. Got this really cool motorcycle. All these rock and roll figures on here. Freddie Mercury, Elvis, Cher, The Stones, Tina Turner. This is pretty badass. It's Main Street, USA. This is gorgeous. We have the diner back here. Check out this country club. 1947 Chevy Style Master. Sweet. Little fake train car. 52.50, not 51.50. Funny. There it is, just like New York. Yeah. Not really. <laughs> Americana. Hey, I'm walking here, I'm walking. Buick Skylark. All these awesome cars from like the 50s and 60s. Look at those guys. Oh, yeah. I think this, I, I was going to say, I thought this was the Trump limo, and it is. They've roped it off now, so you can't get up to it. In 1989, Donald Trump convinced Cadillac to create the most opulent stretch limousine made. The deal fell through, and only two prototypes existed, and this is one of them. I like that Mary sucks all of this stuff in, too. Here's the Thunderbird section. And every time that I see these cars, I think of my buddy in Queens that had a record deal. The first thing they did was go out and buy a Thunderbird. It looks cool, but it actually, it looks so dated now and it looks so futuristic when it came out. You got the general store, all kinds of goodies in here, classic radios. Can't look around though. I would like to see what's on the stand back there. They have all these radios here. Check out the smug look on her face. <laughs> Post office Jeep. 
And then you get into the military area. Look at this thing. It's like a monstrosity. Wow. You can host an event in the military pavilion. In 1951, Willie's Jeep M38. Check out this duck boat. Sick. From the Tom Cruise movie Valkyrie. Look at this VW bus. It's an ambulance. Cars. Muscle cars. I'm pretty sure this section has been closed in the past when we come through. Although I do remember this car. This car is sick. Look at that. My youth is calling me. The Chrysler lobby. Wow. I want to take that home. It's so weird. This place has been open for a couple of years now and they still have like the old retail counters out here. And like the try on mirrors. Obviously a clothing store in the past. England. You want this one? Okay. We'll make it happen, Captain. Let's start a Patreon. <laughs> 54 Reliant Regal. And an 86 Postman Pet Van. The Great Gatsby. What made the Gatsby so great? 39 Cadillac Convertible. Art Deco cars. I love this one. What sound do you think those horns make? Is it like an ooga? <laughs> Coming up on Mad Max. Now they used to have a lot of cool stuff on display in here. There it is, Dinky D. Love it. 87 Buick from the Fast and the Furious. More Fast and the Furious. The Great Race. Cars of the Stars. Crockett's Ferrari from Miami Vice. Speed Racer. Magnum PI, if you want to feel really old, this Ferrari is from 1979. Madonna from Dick Tracy. James Dean. Lord Vader's Hummer from The Saint. This is the actual Kawasaki police motorcycle used by Mel Gibson in Lethal Weapon 3. Car from Edge of Tomorrow. What is cooler, the Monkey's Mobile or Dragula? I gotta go Dragula seven days of the week. The A-Team van, the movie, the Mr. Bean Mobile. This van was used in Spider-Man. I believe the Tobey Maguire one. I don't have the placard up anymore. And again with the duplicates, we've got two kits. The car from Total Recall. The hearse from Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. This motorcycle from MI2. That was a pretty incredible scene. Michael Jackson, Soul Train. Woohoo! Fantasy Island next to the Ghostbusters. And the Ghostbusters got cool stuff to look at inside. Grease Lightning. And the Inspector Gadget Mobile. Herbie. Oh, this is the newer Herbie with Lindsay Lohan. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Icon of my youth. But next to the greatest car in any TV or movie show ever. Ford Gran Torino, Starsky and Hutch. This is it, I win the lottery. I'm buying this car. Exactly like this with the stripe. I'm gonna have the little light for the top two for I-4. Robocop, Benjamin Button, and back to the future. So we went through the car section pretty fast and it still took almost two hours. And forget the Tron Coaster at Magic Kingdom. If you got a little kid, you could have them ride around on those things. And as we walk back to get into Bond, I should also mention they have pool and bowling here too. We got a little snack, some spinach and artichoke dip at the Bond Bar. Next stop up is the Bond Museum. 
And the Bond Museum is included when you pay for the auto museum tour. All right, one thing to note, this Bond Museum is massive. It may be smaller in stature as far as footprint size, but there is so much to look at in here. It would be like hours worth of video to shoot everything. And there are pieces from every era of James Bond, as well as collectibles in the back, as well as all of the props. Boat from, from Russia with love. Dr. No, Goldfinger, Thunderball. You only live once on Her Majesty's Secret Service. And you've got these ridiculous, gigantic planes in here. Well, I'm afraid you've caught me with more than my hands up. Live and let die. The man with the golden gun. Look at a helicopter in the back. The spire loved me. I'm talking about the helicopter in the back, but look at this plane right in front of us. Just absolutely incredible. Spy Love Me. Moonraker. Probably my favorite James Bond movie. And you have the car in action here. And here it is. In full water gloriousness. For your eyes only. Octopusy. A view to a kill. Duran Duran, Grace Jones. I love this movie. The best James Bond is. My favorite James Bond? Roger Moore, Timothy Dalton, because Good Luck is right there in the Living Daylights. Oh, that's Indiana Jones' dad. <laughs> Timothy Dalton. License to kill. Pierce Brodnan, GoldenEye. Also an excellent video game. <laughs> Tomorrow Never Dies. The World Is Not Enough. This is pretty awesome that they have this here too. And then... Casino Royale, Quantum Silas, Solace, 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 Skyfall and Spectre. The car is really dusty. There. Yeah. And then beyond the cars, have all the goodies in here are the names Bond, James Bond. I can almost swear there used to be another case right here too, but maybe not. There's a prop piece from the spacecraft. Here's Brosnan. You can spend all day looking at all this stuff. Get some 007 Super Pepper Gas. Unopened packs of cards. James Bond checks. Look at these guns, too. This is really <laughs> awesome. Like... Those are cool props. Yeah. From a time gone forever. All your 7 up promotional items. And get props. Everything behind this wire and autographs. Oh my God. Scuba Steve. James Bond watches. Like this must have been like high tech at the time. Presented to Jerry Giroux from Xeon Limited on the premiere of Free Your Eyes Only, June 24th, 1981. Look at that watch. Hilarious. Or you could shave like 007. Or you could be like a Bond girl. Speaking of Bond girls, 007 kids underwear. The vehicles. What's cooler in James Bond, the vehicles or the gadgets? Mm, I don't know, I like the cars. I might be a gadget person. Golden Eye slot machine. Got this little Moonraker set up there. And Crunch a Munch. Play set down there. And what would James Bond be without barware? And there he is, Joan Connery, Sexiest Man Alive, 1989. This is hilarious. Dr. No. Smearing off collectibles. The man with the golden gun. 
more James Bond watches from Swatch. Cigar tube from The World Is Not Enough. Little odd job puppet down there. And Sean Connery puppet. Tracking device from Goldfinger. Costumes from Octopussy. All right, next stop, Pinball Palace. Unlimited pinball. Pinball, pinball, pinball. Slow down, Mario. Playboy. But we've come for these. Dolly Parton, Star Trek, and Classic Kiss. I want to rock and roll all night. Now for as much as I love the classic KISS pinball machine I always wanted as a kid, if I had the choice now I would buy the newer one because this thing kicks ass. Way around from Star Wars to Street Fighter. Womp womp. We're both gonna play Batman. Mary's got Christian Bale, Dark Knight. I've got Michael Keaton, Batman. Look at the shooter. It's a Batmobile. That is a really cool board. Oh, and there's Batman Forever too. Mary's busy with the Sopranos. When I think pinball, I think Sopranos. Got some vintage games over here too. Oh. <laughs> Mary is what you call a pinball wizard. Oh. She can make the ball disappear. Of course they have James Bond pinball. I think I am going to skip the go-karts today, do that another day on another trip here. We've done this track before, it's really fun. But I think my head is ready to explode from all of the video noise. All right, Desert Land, we're getting out of here. And the masses are all coming in because look at the sky. We're getting out of here. Thunder up above. Um, Desert Land, I mean, in the time that we haven't been here, like they've only added more and more stuff. And I gotta be honest, you can more than kill an entire day here. So I'm thinking like, if you're coming to Universal or theme parks and you need a rainy day type of place, this is it. It can for sure be a money sink because all of these things that they have are kind of a la carte and they don't have like a big package price. But there's definitely a lot of stuff and we had fun and we killed a lot of time here today, more than I thought we were gonna do. To put it in perspective, I thought this place was kind of gonna be dead and people are literally circling the parking lot looking for spaces, so. <laughs> It's, it's pretty happening, so they kind of proved everybody wrong. So, on that note, we'll see you guys later. Thanks all for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great day. We'll see you guys.